We have here in 26100 the mother of all pendulums. It is a pendulum. <coughs> oops. It is a pendulum which is um, 5.1 meters long, and there is a mass at the end of it which is 15 kilograms. The length is 5.18 meters, and the uncertainty is about 5 centimeters. We can't measure it any better. And the mass at the end of it, which doesn't enter into the period, is about 15 kilograms. The period, which is 2 pi times the square root of L over G, if you substitute in your length of 5.1 meters, you will find 4.57 seconds. 4.57 seconds. Since you have a 1% error in L, you're going to have a half a percent error in your period, so that is about 0.02 seconds. So this is my prediction. And now I'm going to oscillate it for you, and I'm going to do it from two different angles. I'm going to do it at a 5 degree angle, and I'm going to do it at a 10 degree angle. In order to get my relative error down, I will oscillate 10 times. So I'm going to get at an angle theta maximum of roughly 5 degrees, I get 10t equals something, plus or minus my reaction time, which is 0.1 of a second. And then I will do it from 10 degrees, and I will do again 10t, and again my reaction time is not much better than 0.1 second. So let's do that first. I will move this out of the way, because if that 15 kilogram object hits this, that is not funny. All right. Zero. I have a mark here on the floor. This is about 5 degrees. And this is about 10 degrees. I will first do it from 5 degrees. I will let it swing one oscillation, and when it comes to a halt here, I will start the timer. That's, for me, the easiest. But I count on you where it comes to counting. You ready? You ready? You sure? I'm ready, too. OK. Now, keep counting, and don't confuse me again now. You're completely responsible for the counting. So you, all you have to tell me is when, when 8 or 9 is coming up. That's all I want to know. Don't even bother me with three. Don't even bother me with four. Just let me know when I have to get in position for the final kill. <laughs> Notice there's almost no damping on this pendulum. The amplitude remains almost the same. Whereas with the, with the air track, you could actually see that there was already some kind of friction. It was, where are we now? Nine? Nine, Nine right? Forty five point seven zero. Forty five point seven zero. Where's my chalk? Forty five point seven zero. What was my prediction? <laughs> yeah. Second. Now we do from ten ten degrees. And I want to show you now that. The effect on the angle, when you go from 5 to 10, is small. So small that you cannot measure it within the accuracy of your measurement. Yeah! Okay. Again, relax and count. Ah, nerve-wracking! Where are we now? Seven. 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 
Did you expect anything else? 45.75. 